I look myself in the mirror, I just told myself something has to change this year. I got tired of doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. What running has done is not make my problems bigger than me. It makes me look at, okay, yeah, we just have problems, but we all have problems. My name is Devontae Good. I am from Baltimore, Maryland. Started running marathons back in January, and I'm also a long distance runner. At the beginning of this year, I, you know, had some tough relationships that ended tough friendships and romantic relationships that just didn't work out. I didn't have no other way to deal with that other than just keep running long distances. So it went from five miles to six miles to eight miles to 10 miles. It just kept increasing. So I used that as an advantage. You're taking control of your emotions. You're, you're not thinking so much about it, it gives me more of a, again, it gives me more of a clear head. That, I believe that's when the game changes. It's just something that running does that just takes your mind off of the problems. It's like they just vanish. It's like they're just not there anymore. I used to go to the gym a lot, but I wasn't never consistent. The moment that I started to run, it gave me more of a routine. You know, at first I couldn't even run a mile without getting tired. In order to find something that you love to do, you have to stay consistent in it. Don't just give up on the first try. So once I started to give it more of multiple shots, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can, I can, I can do it now. This is something that I love to do now. It started as something small. I had a 10K back in April, April the 6th, which was my first one. Yeah, I just never stopped. Now my next race is the Charles Street 12 miler. Hopefully, by the grace of God, I will be able to qualify for the biggest one, I believe, which is the Boston Marathon. And it's been challenging over the last few months far as with trying to find time to actually go out for runs. Um, going through injuries. So I do have to get up maybe at 5.30 in the a.m. and you know, 4.30, 4 a.m. But even with those challenges, I'm still getting after it at least five days out the week. I believe that we should always challenge ourselves as human beings. We should always look to step outside of our comfort zone. You start to figure out who you are as a person. You start to figure out that you're more than just a body, you're more than just your mind, honestly. The more and more that you do something, the more and more that we start to expand. I look myself in the mirror, I just told myself something has to change this year. What running has done is, it makes me look at, okay, yeah, we just have problems, but we all have problems. Started running marathons back in January, and I'm also a long distance runner. I had some tough relationships that ended. I didn't have no other way to deal with that other than just keep running long distances. So it went from five miles to six miles to eight miles to 10 miles. It just kept increasing. So I use that as an advantage. You're taking control of your emotions. You're, you're not thinking so much about it. It gives me more of a, again, it gives me more of a clear head. That, I believe that's when the game changes. I believe that we should always challenge ourselves as human beings. We should always look to step outside of our comfort zone. You start to figure out who you are as a person. You start to figure out that you're more than just a body, you're more than just your mind, honestly. The more and more that you do something, the more and more that we start to expand.